Welcome to Pot of Thunder, the recognized symbol of excellence in rock and roll podcasting. Brought to you by Blue Microphones. They look great, and they sound even better, don't they? Ooh, that sounds good. Welcome to the program. Guess who it is? Everybody knows it. It's my buddy Andy. That's right. It's your buddy Andy, America's little brother. As always, I'm joined by Gnarly Nick. Bam! Bam! Mm. The garlic dragon. Mm. Some of that garlic sizzle over there. Mmm. <sighs> Nick, are you a, a garlic press guy, or do you uh, use a, some kind of kitchen knife? Uh, a, what would that be? Uh, a chef's knife to, to mince? Oh, to mince or to yeah. remove the uh, peel? You know, no, there, to mince. There to are mince. tricks to that. Oh, they're really, yeah, geez. to removing the peel. So much garlic trickery. Yeah. Who so. Knew? Oh yeah, I, the mince is fine, but uh, yeah, you're you're you got to get the giant knife and you. you you, you flatten it. You flatten it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seen that done on TV. Never done it myself. And there's a guy over there on the end of the couch who was once described as... He was a moocher, a card sheet, a country club golf hustler, a scumbag. I, it's Chris L. I still hear card chic. I, I, don't I don't understand <laughs> the issue with that sound clip. <laughs> no one can understand anything. I, no, I so. just... It's just... When someone's rattling off names like that, I mm. I'm I'm never surprised to hear something that I've never heard before. So card yeah, chic just jumped so. out at me. I thought, what would be a card chic? I don't know. Mm. Maybe one day I'll run Middle in. Eastern guy who plays cards. I guess I so. Know. With a bunch of women with the bottom halves of their faces covered up. A, a harem. A harem. Yeah. There you go. Do they have those at the casino over here in Hammond? <laughs> I don't know. Do they even have? Do they have a they have a back room where, where the card sheiks uh, get access to? That's what I was gonna say. Do they have any kind? Of, well, I doubt there's actually card sheiks, yeah. but do they have like a high roller lounge or something? I would imagine so. Okay. Not well, that I would ever approach being invited in there. No. Well, where does where does Scotty Pippen go when he's there? He doesn't sit there at the tables with everybody else. Does he not? I don't know. I would think. I he wouldn't would. think so. He, he frequents the casinos in this, this region. Uh, years ago, at least. I remember hearing stories that uh, Scotty Pippen of Chicago Bulls uh, World Championship fame would be spotted there, and uh, the workers. Which one though? The, the horseshoe. Well, the Empress at the time it was called, but yeah, the horseshoe. Okay, over here and, in Hammond, uh, and yep. uh, his uh, his nickname amongst the coworkers well, yeah. there. Allegedly was no tipping yeah, the well, yeah. There's no allegedly. I saw it with my own two <laughs> okay, eyes. There you go. When I worked at the Hard Rock, he came in a smallish entourage, <laughs> but still about probably a table of eight. That's big. That's, yeah. yeah. And, and normally yeah. that would kick in the automatic yeah. gratuity, but they weren't going to light up a Chicago Bull like that. Mm -hmm. Left nothing. Really? So <laughs> they the, made an exception. Yeah, because they're thinking this is going to be even better. If well, we don't, if we don't put the fifteen percent on, he's going to give us like forty percent. Well, but it, no, I don't know if that was. I think the thinking is what we've talked about before, where these people just are petrified of oh. someone complaining to the to the corporate office and them losing their six figure restaurant manager mm. job. Or is it? And when Scotty Pippen complains, somebody's getting fired. Yeah, probably. And, You're is right. it just that he's a high profile person and it's worth it, I guess, well, in the yeah, long run? That people will talk about right. they have yeah. But no, uh, no tip whatsoever. Nothing. Zero. So is he like did nobody ever explain this to him when he was uh, like a teenager or in his twenties going Nick, to the restaurant? Nick. <laughs> Nick Nick. Did nobody explain that you're supposed Nick. to do this to us? Oh, Nick. So naive. <laughs> there are reasons for this, which I can't get into for fear I'll never be hired on Saturday Night Live. Wow. <laughs> but uh, uh, actually, a, 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 a sociology professor of my wife's when she was in college, an African-American fellow, explained it to her. And I will explain it to you offline one of these days. <laughs> yeah, you're I'll, not going to But it's a, it's, a, sure. it's a real thing, mm. and that's all I'm going to say. It, about is it, it excusable, in your opinion? I don't think so. Okay. Well, mainly for the fact that when a, a server doesn't get tipped on a bill of that size, especially, they end up losing money. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. It's okay, there may be some sort of. 
some sort of reason that's spread around, but uh, I don't see any excuse for it. Well, it, it, again, well, I'll, I'll fill you okay. in offline. I don't feel like going down no, that maybe road not. on something that's being beamed out to the planet. Yeah, instead of that, let's just say that um, as far as tipping goes, Scotty Pippen is a... Total waste of skin and life. Yeah, he's, he's not the only one, but... No, he's, uh, uh, Total fucking dewclaw. <laughs> well, you see that bill at the end with a zero in the gratuity. With a zero with a line he, Do you it? think he bothers putting the zero? Probably not. Who knows? But I just it's remember like, why is, he got nothing. Why is there this extra line? <laughs> got nothing. I'll just put a check mark here, I guess. Yeah. I think he, he wrote just the in front of the, t- <laughs> the comma. <for> tip, <laughs> and that was it. And he drew a wiener on yeah. it. Exactly, arrow pointing. Andy out. drew a middle finger on one of my uh, <laughs> one of my bills when I went to eat at Chris's cafe one time. <laughs> Gave me the bill. I still have it. Do you I have it? Wow, have it somewhere. It's uh, yeah, that middle was... middle finger on it. Oh yeah, I had that's let... that's the kind of thing Yahoo wants to know about these days. <laughs> you could probably put that up, and it would become a viral story. I should. Yeah, yeah. and and for that reason, it. Nothing nefarious about what I alluded to, but in this day and age of extreme sensitivity, what's the point of even discussing it? You, you can't even have any any disparate opinions. You can't even have a discussion without somebody demanding someone be fired, someone witnessing someone's life being ruined, their livelihood taken away. And what's the point? Who has the energy to get that involved over people they know it's nothing? They don't know personally. They don't have nothing to do with the, the story. The, the internet has revealed the human race to be a very angry group of beings. Yeah, it's it's incredible. I have no time to go on the internet and complain about things. You know why? Don't you think I got enough bullshit on my mind? Yes, what we've talked about must be nice for that to rocket to the top of your priority yeah. list on any given day. You don't have bills or work I, or family or whatever. Instead, you're concerned about what some dipshit comedian said on a podcast a year ago. They got him fired from SNL a week after he How was dare hired. Him? How dare him? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I enjoy something Rahm Emanuel has said. Yep, I got, can't. I just still can't yeah, believe it. I'm a big right. fan right right now. And that was still. right at the very end of his term. Yeah, I, just just for that, I'm a I'm somewhat of a fan. I, I mean, he's the only person I've ever heard it say it like that. It's how dare he, isn't it? I've yeah. never heard how dare him in yeah. my life. Well, and I like that he doubled down on it. He did. <laughs> yes, he certainly did. He didn't he, stutter and correct he was, it. He was hot that day. Yeah, that was. That's one of the best speeches by any politician ever. Yeah, I'm going to go on record and say that over the Jesse Smollett scandal. <laughs> Nothing. To, Another thing that uh, raised the ire of millions of people around the world. I, I mean, we have we have. Uh, let's see. <laughs> There's nothing to fear but fear itself. <laughs> <laughs> we we have one uh, small step for man for man or whatever. Ask not what you yeah. can do, what your country can do for you. I have a dream, and then how, how dare, dare him? him. <laughs> <laughs> but by the nine and a half fingered former mayor of Chicago. Well, he, Great in my opinion, he uh, he etched his spot yeah. in uh, in political speech history. Uh, you're exclusive, not wrong. exclusive company. Yes. He's joined. Absolutely right. Well, how about that, guys? You know what? Uh, it's back to normal this week. No uh, group discussion beforehand with what song we're going to do, based on any kind of news. Back to the listener submission list, and we will choose a random number. And today, Chris is going to be either. Approving this choice or shooting it down. I guess I gotta amble so on over there. Head huh? on over here. And um let's see what you think of this, but Wait, let me yeah. just get this clip ready just in case you don't like it. Alright. 
So this is right here. We've got this number, 626. Mm. Is this the Peter Chris book? Are there that many pages? Bushwicked. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> All right. It's been bushwicked. Moving on to the next trick. Woe to whoever suggested that one. Just, just so everybody knows, my intention here is to pick something that will rip apart because it's been a while since we had a real dog on here. So that's what <laughs> I'm looking for. Looking for a dog. Well, there's, there's. I looked at the list earlier today. There, uh, there are a few of those. Perhaps more than a few. <laughs> Perhaps oh. more than nine and a half. Rahm Emanuel could not count it on both hands. That's that's the there winner. It is. Okay. <laughs> All right. We wow. Got second choice. You know, honestly, with this format, I thought it's going to be an hour and a half of no, no, oh, no, 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 no. But it's been, it's only been like at max like three, yeah, three choices we've gone through before we selected one. So it, it, somehow it's working itself out. Well, and when I said I wanted a dog. <laughs> We got one. Okay. Now, everybody knows what it is already. I'm mm-hmm. sure people are just clam- chomping at the bit to hear the rest of this episode. I, I, uh, I'm the only one in this room who does not know. Yeah. So I'm looking Andy forward to Andy can read this. it off because I can't remember what album this is on. So okay. you have all the this information. Is, this is exciting. All right. Yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> this is couldn't have asked just for a better one. Gauging really. Chris's expression He's right happy. now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty excited it's myself. It's too good to be true almost. <laughs> All right, well, let's turn the microphone over to AEW world champion Chris Jericho. All right, Harold. This one's called... Up for Breakfast. <laughs> off of... Best of Both Worlds. By the band... Van Halen. Uh, Ow! Oh. It, this is too good to be true, because this is one Chris has brought up multiple times as an example of the worst lyrics yes, of I, all time. I, I, every time... Uh, the subject of absolutely awful lyrics come up. <laughs> this one is top of mind. Wow. So some of the worst lyrics ever penned. And 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 what year did this come out? Can you uh, find the year this came out what, what and album find was the, this again? the best of both worlds greatest hits? Oh, package. so this, this was a uh, in. Uh, an augmentation to a greatest hits uh, collection. Well, yeah, you know, you know how it is. Yeah. Like all the greatest hits uh, like albums a, have, have like a, a like a me wise magic, too. right? Exactly. Yeah. Like so, a making love out of nothing at all. Yeah, or sure. side four of Alive Two. There you which go. Sort of set the tone for it. But what, now, what year did this album come out? And what year was Sammy Hagar born? I need this. This was oh four. 2004. Yeah, this album that came recent, out huh? In 2004, yeah. Sammy Hagar. I think he's he's got to be in his 70s. Let me see here. 1947. So that would make him 71 as of right, right now. but in, in 2004 he was. Oh, so 56. 57. All right, whatever. Yeah, yeah. mid mid to late 50s year old man wrote these lyrics okay so that's what we're getting that's, at here that's what i was getting at. <laughs> okay and, um, gotcha. unbelievable stuff the gary sharon era was not represented on this album it, well there, that, a, then it would have to be the best of three worlds that's and true there w- oh, really wasn't man. much best of on that third world no uh no mitch malloy uh <laughs> recording i mean i i tried to uh sit through that album pulled it up on youtube the full album van halen three i i I had to tap out like three songs in what's wrong what's wrong with it Uh, it's hard to explain but it's just there i don't i it's just and i like weird albums i like weird incarnations of bands that that was just too much to take this on the other hand is worse (laughs) than anything on that Album certainly lyrically, it's, it's, possibly the worst lyrics an, of any song ever. It's an released. interesting <laughs> mixture of songs on this greatest hits too. Yeah, it's not I mean, bad. Black and Blue made it. It's not a bad tune. No, I'm not. I, I'm not knocking it, but I'm just surprised because that 
they don't that's not one that they i guess they did play it live on that tour probably that was the first single from that album actually i believe not and i'm not saying this to be funny but i uh a a guy that i knew he uh who passed away several years ago i walked to uh walked into his wake and they were playing music that he liked and black and blue was playing over the uh really head speaker so that was kind of a surreal thing to walk into a awake and hear black and blue by did that bum you out or was that no i just i thought like okay this yeah i'm sure he he liked this song and well i mean i like it too so Hmm. but that was just kind of a you know surreal moment but uh we got uh up for breakfast so obviously you're gonna have the lyrics pulled up Mm -hmm. yeah that's Mm -hmm. essential here written by samuel hagar (laughs) Right. For some reason, it says an A. It says A. Wait, why is it A? Oh no, that's Alex Van Halen. Okay, yeah, Sammy Hagar, Alex Van Halen, and Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. Okay. Michael Anthony does not get any of the credit or blame for this one, I suppose. Yeah, he wisely uh, stayed out of this one. <laughs> um. So one thing I want to mention real quick before we get into it, we had this song on the list twice. Two different people sent it in. One was Jim, and one was Bill. Both guys who apparently didn't want their last names. Exactly. <laughs> they don't want this traced back to them either. Yeah. But, Any uh, comments yeah. offered by either of them? So Jim just says, funny song. Yeah, well, that's one way to interpret it. <laughs> um, Bill says, since you reviewed the entire Kiss discography filled with plenty of of peanut filled turds <laughs> why not review this shit show also well okay here, so here it is nobody so is nobody it. has submitted this and chris has not selected it and nobody has submitted it as a as a song that they are pumped to listen to nobody yeah. nobody's claiming that this is high quality i think well i think wait, i wait till greg it. troy and chimes in on it I think I've only listened to this maybe once or twice just to hear some of the lyrics, but it I forgot it, so it's going to be almost like listening to a new song for me. Well, just astonishingly bad, starting with the title. I mean, <laughs> the, the minute you see a song title like that, you, you, you have to reject it immediately. There's nothing... Up for breakfast. Well, I'm. I mean... Well, I guess we'll get into it when we get into the lyrics, but I'm assuming it's a it's a sexual pun. Well, geez, that's all that's <laughs> all you can real reach there. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Up for breakfast? The yeah, old- but you have to you have to usually go to the bathroom when you get up. You, this, this is well, a little strange it, it, to me. Depends on you know. There's multiple interpretations of the word up early in the morning we've talked about this where you have to bend over at a 90 degree angle to actually get the urine stream in the toilet it's pretty much what we're talking about here but just poorly clumsily uh, executed well, I horrible can't, stuff i, I can't and wait he's, he's he's gotta be consistently one of the worst lyricists across the board great guy by all accounts did some great stuff with van halen great stuff um in his solo career iconic songs great stuff with montrose but the lyrics are just as bad as it gets across consistently Consistently, i mean not everything he's ever done but most of the stuff he's Done is lyrically at bottom well, of the barrel. Black and blue is I do bringing it up again. I do like that song. Always have, but thinking about the lyrics, pretty terrible. Yeah, I mean it's just heavy-handed innuendo. I mean, it's like the polar opposite of like a Bon Scott who just so geniusly addressed those topics. This is the opposite of that, and this is the best slash worst example that could possibly have come up so was this the only new song on this greatest hits or were there there, a couple there's a do not know there's a song i think the song after it there wasn't a there was not a new roth song on this i'm pretty convinced of that there's a song after this called learning to see which i don't think probably and there's a song called it's about time which i don't know if i know that one either 
not a Van Halen expert, but I do know. Okay. I mean, uh, well. <laughs> Are you familiar with the song, Andy? Have never heard, heard it? it. No, I've just heard the title from you guys. You've mentioned. never even considered the lyrics before? You've I've, oh, I mean, I could, I've never looked them up. I have no idea what it's about. I just can assume what it's about, like Nick said. But Yeah, well. Get ready. It's yeah. unbelievable. Well, it looks like those three songs, as far as I can tell, just you know, quickly on Wikipedia, it's not referencing an album that they're from. It's referencing mm. every other song's al- original album. Yeah. Well, we could get to the bottom so. of it, but... Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, it's really just been wasted been effort. Been waiting to we'll play see how it, from... We'll see how it measures up to can't get this stuff. What is it? Can't get this stuff around no here. No more. Yeah. yeah. All right, you guys ready? I I am more than ready, yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, so off the bat, we're getting a nod to Why Can't This Be Love. Mm-hmm. It sounds like the intro to that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you're, you're listening to this, and if you're not really looking at the track list and you think it's why can't this be love yeah and then if you are looking at the track listing you're like why would they do something identical to that but you know conscious nod to it who knows but uh you know yeah that that's, is, that's what we're getting that here. is interesting and i i i want to say that song is on this album let me just verify so that's uh Yes, no, it is. Oh, yeah, it's it on is. like there's disc a lot of three. material. In this. Yeah, or oh, there's two discs. It's on disc two. You know, it'd be kind of like doing a, a song that's not hot for teacher, but doing that same yeah. funny car uh, drum intro. It's like kind of kind of weird. But yeah, that's what we're getting. <laughs> say there he's you want to read it next i heard the, I, the first one was discernible but well and then he he doubles down on the uh the messianic uh pun <laughs> she treats me like a personal jesus got the hand put it where it's gonna heal you mm. okay yeah. Okay. Is this some sort of a what I, I can't remember what they call that but is this some allusion to the nail wound in the hand of Jesus? That's stigmata, but I think yeah. it's like putting no, like healing someone yeah, like, like a leper or something. Oh, like, okay. like, like a Benny Hinn move. <laughs> or an actual Jesus move. I mean that's, uh, well, yeah. that's a Bible. <laughs> Him too, yeah. but you know. <laughs> Jesus, Benny Hinn, same same thing. Yeah. But um uh, they both had private jets. And, yeah, you know, it was exactly. a scandal. They were right. both they were both black. <laughs> um, just kidding. Um, what, wait, hold on. <laughs> Did they go to the casino? What what movie was that from? <laughs> I don't know. Is oh it from man, a movie? there's a, there's a song during the credits of I want to say it's one of the Zucker Brothers movies. Uh, that would make. And sense. I think it's Jesus was a black dude. Wasn't that from um, Repossessed or no? Was it? I, I thought I thought so. it was a Zucker Brothers one. Oh. I'm sure someone can answer, but I believe it was Jesus was a black dude, not some white guy with a tan. Was the refrain? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's that's so. an, in, an interesting observation. Um, so musically, it's got a pretty cool groove, right? Um, yeah, it's you know, it's fine. It's it's got that kind of swaggering groove and the 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 band itself is the unit is locked in you get that uh you know when eddie and alex play together they've just got that 
natural telepathic thing going on. So so musically, it's virtually impossible for those guys to create something uh, that's not pretty great. Maybe with the exception of some of the pandering ballads that Hagar inspired them and, to write over the course of the uh, Hagar era of the band. And I have I have several bones to pick already with just the first two uh, vocal uh, lines. Just the performance, um, just yelling the words, basically. Yeah, yeah. And just the, the, the use of personal Jesus, it's like... Yeah, quoting quoting us, you know, somebody else's song title Pesh like Mo, that. Right. It's just, uh, and, and basically, we're already seeing and hearing that this this is essentially the template for Chicken Foot. This yeah, is I was the kind just, of. <laughs> I was gonna say lyrical content, soap and, on a rope. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Big Foot. I mean, hmm. just moronic lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sexy little thing yeah. again what, what was he 60 when he wrote that i mean we've talked about being age appropriate on this show and i'm one to talk some of this shit i say at age 52 is pretty embarrassing but this is next level stuff <laughs> yeah. mean, and it's only just started i, I mean, mean and and just, I mean, nobody, I don't think is, it's so silly that I don't think anybody is offended, but I, it's, I think it would be pretty easy to be already. It's more, you're, you're more embarrassed by it than offended. This, I mean, there's stuff later that maybe if you're like super sensitive, but I think the more reasonable reaction is like, just embarrassment. Like I find like ghost super offensive this i just it's just like oh it's so stupid you find ghosts ex- offensive well i mean they mock uh yeah. they they okay. straight up mock sacred uh yeah thing, all right so. but lyrically but i mean this song well or, yeah there's there's nothing to be offended by here no. it's just it's it's ridiculous you, it's 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 yeah, it's silly. And he's done it so many times that it's just... There can't be any irony or, like, <laughs> humor here. This is what he does. Yeah. I don't know. It's like like, like his wife listening to this. I mean, how, how can she <laughs> take him seriously after this? I don't know. This is... You think he'd put the moves on after... Uh, uh, who knows, man. Think- <laughs> I don't know. This. This is brutal uh, shit. You think he and, wrote this like in her birthday card? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. a poem? This is a tribute to her. I, yeah. I just hope the second verse opens uh, with her name is Rio. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I just looked ahead. It doesn't. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah it, 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 it should have. It would have been better. It would have been. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, I mean, man. that is just, you know. I'm getting a, a visual of the pump sneakers. Pump it <laughs> yeah, up, pump yeah, it yeah. up, make it bigger. The, the, the whole, I can jump higher now. Yeah, and, you know. <laughs> the prosthetic we talked about yes, several yes, months back. And, yeah. and another P word I'm going to bring up here. The finger on the trigger implies prostate stimulation <laughs> to get, get a rise out of an individual. <laughs> oh, Trust me, that's where his that's head he's was at about. when he wrote that lyric. Wow. Make no mistake about it. <laughs> uh, uh, Sammy Hagar being milked yeah. at age 57. An ode to stink finger <laughs> up for breakfast is what we have. Yeah, and it's, I mean, thinking about breakfast. Well, it, it's, that, that's who wants, to, who wants to eat after this? Well, that's what I mean. It's like... <laughs> You know, tell the room service guy to come back in a half hour. Somebody's got her finger up my ass. <laughs> the last thing you want when that's happening is a knock on the door. What if you wake up room service? What if you wake up a few minutes before the wake up call? Yeah, and then the phone's ringing off the hook while <laughs> while this is happening. Yeah, and you can't get to it. <laughs> can't reach it. <laughs> Or you do get it, and you think you can keep your composure. Yeah, well, that's not. It's happening. not. You have to coordinate some kind yeah. of walk. 
<laughs> like a like a two like like two people in the yeah. horse costume, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or exactly. like yeah, like a three legged man race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's those kind of things always happen at the precisely the wrong time <laughs> when you're being pumped up and made bigger. Didn't we just <laughs> make st- pump it, pump it up, make it bigger? Make it bigger. <laughs> Didn't we just <laughs> give me a break. About, like wasn't uh, someone can answer this? Make I don't remember. It bigger. Didn't we say make it bigger a few episodes ago and laugh about how stupid? Probably. I, I don't remember <laughs> it, but I'm pretty That's- sure we did. Such a childish uh, way of saying yeah, this. Exactly. I mean, that's yeah. That's that's uh, trying to describe your first erection, right there. Yeah. Something made it bigger. Or it's like English as a second language kind of thing. <laughs> like you're you're saying the right thing, but that's not. But the, it's very those, clumsy. Yeah, that's not. That might actually be a line that would absolutely not work at the bullpen <laughs> the- luxury sports bar down the street. <laughs> that's I mean, everything the- else would potentially work at some point make it bigger would not so if you said girl you you just made it bigger you don't think that's gonna get you anywhere absolutely not you think that's any worse than a a line i remember uh, a guy in high school telling me it was she made it move yeah you think you think make it bigger is is as good as that line wasn't made it move a big seinfeld thing Probably, or so I think it was it a, a different. A different. I don't know. He got George got a massage or yeah. something. Oh, and it yeah. moved. Okay, so, so I'm thinking yeah, maybe okay. that's related. So then it kind of gets a, a pass yeah. because of that, I guess. Make it bigger is worse. Yeah, yeah make it bigger. <laughs> George got a massage and she made it bigger. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> and again, he's 56. Well, I mean, this. you got to rhyme something with trigger. You don't have a lot of choices. Or no. you don't write this song at all. <laughs> or somebody at some stage says, you know what, we're not putting this out. The if, music's good. Come up with some better lyrics. We're not putting this out. If you're not the ghetto boys, you don't have as many options. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to rhyme with trigger? Exactly yes. Right. That's, yeah, that's yeah, true. Good one. Good Tri- point. Trigger happy. Yeah, right. Fella. Trigger happy, bigger. <laughs> Doesn't work. No. All right. All right, let's go. Go crazy. There he goes again. It's going to yeah, heal you. You know, he's venturing into Gene Simmons territory. His cock is the all healing appendage. It's going to cure what ails anybody. I think, no, it's not. Nobody I, wants to see it. I Put read, it away. <laughs> Nobody wants it to be made bigger. Just stop calling attention to it. Your wife doesn't even like it. Absolutely not. <laughs> Leave her alone. Same hairstyle down there, I'm the sure. Th- yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, only th- <laughs> the only thing she wants to be continued made bigger is his bank account. Yeah. And this song Which probably isn't going to do it. This song isn't, but pretty much everything else he's involved in. And, yeah. Uh, so you got to tip your hat to him on that. But uh, he ain't... Uh, pad in the bank account with his lyrics oh my god <laughs> yeah, and you, I, I guarantee I don't know for sure but I guarantee you chicken foot busted this out as part of the set because I mean could you be could drop it right in and it's it, this could be a, a chicken foot I mean, song as great and I, I haven't listened to anything he's done live in like a little while but I know he's one of those guys who's supposedly maintained the voice after all yeah, these years I mean, like kind of a roger daltrey yeah i'd, I'd say um, that's there's accurate. a few other guys but even with his voice you know the strength of it this is a just garbage well, like yes. like as far as like there's just no it's pure rhythm and yelling the the lyrics there's there's I can't imagine much thought was put it's, into it. It's a, almost, uh, the way you just described it made me make this connection that I've never made before. This is almost Van Halen's equivalent of Lulu, Metallica, mm. and Lou Reed. Music and lyrics, vocals laid on top of it that seem to have no connection and synergy whatsoever. Yeah, I mean... Van Halen musically, there's there are a lot of uh, possibilities melodically, like the 
the, the way that Eddie Van Halen writes a song lend it lends itself to that but this is i mean this is like a bad 80s gene simmons song i'll go with down the <laughs> same road with chris there this is like just yeah this is this log is, in the fireplace yeah the just whole shebang. i mean i'm gonna put the i'm gonna do it emphatically it might you know the voice will be in good form but it's just i'm not gonna put any right. thought into this but the thing about it is gene simmons was not 56 when he wrote that stuff that's an, yeah, the other x factor of this whole thing it's important to keep in mind. I mean, this is like you write this in second grade when you're trying to write a cheeky song and you don't know anything about life or the world. <laughs> Make it bigger. Yeah, Makes perfect right. sense. At that age. Heal ya. Get out of here. Gonna <laughs> heal ya. Stupid. She put the cream in my coffee. And there's a and direct it's, and it's, like, Woo. it's not going to get any better in the no, next one. No, it's not. But w- w- what do we have up to she that point? She put the cream in my coffee, parentheses, first thing in the morning. Yeah. Put that butter on my biscuit. And then this next line I don't get, but parentheses, honeydew my melons. Well, so you know, this, a honeydew melon. Yeah, but, but... Honey, do my melons, me, probably meaning ball melons. play, as Andy and I have that's been more, discussing that's in life yeah. of recently. That's more of a, a, a buttock-sized... Uh, yeah, but, you know, he's... he's, he's <laughs> honey, do my buttocks. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, if he's got... Yeah, as long as your fingers If he's got there, honey, do melons down there uh, well, in the front, you know, then that's... He's obviously got a very high opinion of himself. I mean yeah. that that's the, that if you have that that's a medical honey that's a medical my emergency. Melons. I mean how is it spelled? Just that I'm sure it's not right but I'm just curious how the person who wrote well, the lyrics on the The one internet. that I'm looking up is actual honeydew like okay. the fruit. Honeydew my melons. Well, that way's a little cheap. It's like apple yeah. my oranges. It, like huh? <laughs> Butter yeah. on my biscuits. I mean <laughs> How do you <laughs> put that butter? No, it's just a singular single, biscuit. Single biscuit. Uh, 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 what's the what's the bi- what's shaped like a biscuit? That's singular. I don't, Maybe it's one of those uh, Burger King understand. original know, chicken fucking, sandwich yeah. buns. A, a, a preparation H pad. I don't know. <laughs> I was like <laughs> the, the butter. What is the butter? Uh, it's, well. <laughs> The mind races with what <laughs> could possibly have been going through. <laughs> well, and, and this is 2004, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eddie Van Halen clearly deep in the throes of alcoholism. How, how do you not? How does nobody step up and say we're not, we're not releasing this? Do you think it was a time thing? This is what we've got. I, why is it necessary? There are 50 million songs on this collection. Yeah. There's no reason to shoehorn this in. Well, they're hoping to add a new classic to the uh, well, to the perpetual know, they, uh, set list. They, they accomplished releasing one of the worst songs of all time in any genre in the history <laughs> of recorded music. <laughs> It's just terrible, well, and we've only just started it. Right? Is, yeah, and this next line this is a long way. To this go. next line's embarrassing, oh, as opposed to the ones <laughs> previously. Yeah, this, okay, perhaps this more new, so. This is a new low. Here we Good. Go. <laughs> Chris is just nodding uh, his head. Cherries on bananas. <laughs> Gonna need a second helping. You know I'm up for breakfast so early in the morning. Yeah, good for you. I mean, just that that is. uh, Come on, (laughs) that might be where it crosses the line. Is this as advertised? Yeah, Yeah. this is terrible. So, how how many years have I been talking about this? (laughs) Probably referenced it since you've known. Fifteen years, probably. I would like. I'd like to point out that it would, if you're standing on your feet. Mm-hmm. The way gravity works, it would be banana on cherries, but this is cherries on bananas, so he's he's standing on his hands. Well, you know. I'm just saying. Hmm. <laughs> I'm th- I have to do some math here in my head. <laughs> right? I mean, that's how gravity works. Well, I, something on something, something on something else. There are a million ways you could yeah. 
the fact that we're even analyzing <laughs> this is just astonishing. Now, but. I want everybody to stop. If you want to hear this this sentiment of this song pulled off successfully, go pull up "Early Morning Love" by Lou Rawls, and you'll, yes. you'll get a you'll get a line in there. Um, it's like mixing fire with fire. Okay, is in yeah. that song. That's you, you'll. <laughs> You'll get stuff like that in that song. Right. L- Lou Rawls, Bon Scott, lyricists like that know how to address this topic in a clever, uh, appealing way. This is the polar opposite of that. Like I said, this is something a second grader would come up with. Maybe a first grader. I don't know. But... I think we could talk like an hour and a half just about three words, cherries on bananas. Yeah, I mean... But I think we need to keep moving because well, there's a long we do, way to go. We do have to keep moving. Yeah. But that that's just, yeah, astonishing. And who bad. has cherries for breakfast? Bananas, I see. Yeah, yeah. Cherries? This is, not, this is not the lover's breakfast. Well, it's I not the mind. lover's breakfast, no. but you, we all know what cherry means. That's He, he has to shoehorn that in there. And again, he's 56 <laughs> writing this crap. Unbelievable. <laughs> See, I was thinking more of a, this is a, a, it could be a solo act with the cherry. He's got both the cherries and the bananas. What, Why does uh, he have more than one banana? Yeah, he's got multiple bananas. What kind of parties he having? <laughs> yeah, you know. It's his wife's <laughs> birthday. Yeah. He's symmetrical, perhaps. Little orgy going on, <laughs> food orgy of his own making. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, let's 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 move move ahead. Yeah. My goodness, it's not going to get. It's only going to get worse if we keep staying on this one. Oh, so let's yeah. move. Oh god! Yeah, hot tub, loosen up, baby, been soaking. No. Oh no! This is stupid. <laughs> You, this is so bad. you stopped it at maybe the worst line, right? But it's just it's so read those lyrics off. I'll read these this time. Yeah. I don't need the back door open. Yeah, great. The one, the Gee. lyrics I have up, it says lock the front, leave the back door open. Really? Yeah, that's better. That doesn't. But well, it's worse. I don't know that that makes sense. I don't think he wants anything on lockdown. Lock the front. I think he's Nick talking the about are right. Let's I go think he wants. I on. think he wants everything. Every option available to him is what it sounded well, like to but me. It's, it's, Not today, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not on this breakfast. Lock the front. Leave the back door open. Yeah. Think, God. That's just. And a, then the, the there was a hot tub reference. Read that one. Hot Nick. tub. Loosen up. Baby been soaking. Oh God. And then it only is gets, that a technique. And then it I only gets know. dumber I after don't know, this, dude. I don't I'm not. Know. I'm not a man who's ventured into any kind of butt play. Is a hot tub for loosening some I kind of I technique? Know. I don't know. Well, I mean, listeners, please let us. know. I mean, it's it, it's like a it's like a sidewalk. It's cold out. It tightens up. It's it's hot mm-hmm. out. It, it it expands. It makes sense. I mean, this I is just, just hadn't it's thought just, about it. It's just a dis dis. dis Disturbing. So just, I, I just want to re- reiterate <laughs> something with Andy. Okay, never heard this song before, right? Never, never even looked at the lyrics no, before. Never. This is as advertised, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it it's is so dog bad. shit, and it's getting it's consistently getting worse. Oh yeah, I mean, and- <laughs> the 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 opening salvo. Of the Van Hagar era was good enough on fifty one fifty. Another song that equates women to food. Okay, I thought that was the low point, and I actually kind of like that song again, mainly for the music and some of the. Uh, and which one is that again? Good enough. Good enough. The opening okay. track on fifty one fifty. Um, this is just. <laughs> This from this from this reminds oh, me of God. the the uh, Cosby Show episode where <laughs> Theo and Cockroach refer to girls as burgers. Yeah, this is <laughs> yes, and get confronted about it. Why well, there's it was inappropriate to. Oh yeah, they're objectifying women. <laughs> yeah, this is I don't even know what this is. And this this next lyric might be the dumbest. Oh, well, there's plenty the of dumbest them. lyric 
excerpt ever written of all time. See, and this is uh, this is somewhat still new for me because I I heard this once and knew right then and there that they were the worst lyrics I've ever heard. <laughs> I never went back to this well until now, so I don't have these memorized, obviously. So. <laughs> I'm. It's. It, I might as well be hearing these the first time as well. There's profound stupidity ahead. Oh well, I, I have no doubt. Unbelievable. I've been talking. I've been sipping. Slip, 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 and I got me trapped. Okay. What? Been token. Been sipping. Is this an Afro man song? <laughs> Slip, si- slip, slide, slipping, all got me tripping. Oh my god! That's that's a new low. It's it's this is unbelievable. It's I mean, simply that's, unbelievable. Or 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 a Kid Rock, you know, Kid, Kid Rock. rock this is beneath Kid Rock. I mean, well, <laughs> no, it is. This is as bad as it it's. Gets. It's close to some of his actual lyrics. Well, the, Nick, I think Nick just means that one line. Yeah, that's what I mean. Token, like like sipping. it's like it's right. like a Kid Rock song. I can't think of the name of it, but. Uh, yeah, Kid Rock wouldn't. Have I'm just the rest sitting of here them. wasting time. Yeah, token, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, right. But you know, that's a. This is way beneath anything that's ever been released by anyone. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> I mean, it's just it, it. This is astonishing. Uh, I'll say it again, and we've said it by, about other stuff, but how does no one? in the chain of command anywhere in the course of the organization put their foot down and say we're not <laughs> releasing this this is t- this is ridiculous <laughs> don't you remember what we used to do we were van halen and this is what we're putting out now but yeah it's it's uh as outrageous we're focusing on the lyrics but, but i still can't get over the vocal delivery with, well, with even though his voice is great i can't yeah. get over just how oh, this is how like five minutes uh this was probably worked out and yeah. no second guessing when there should have been plenty <laughs> yeah i mean it's just a testament no. to how how fucking gone nobody Eddie van halen was nobody sitting nobody pulling up to the bench to the piano and working out any sort of melodic oh, anything. hell no. it's, this is no. li- just yell the exactly yell your lyrics yeah and, this and, and, this might have been this could very well have been done r kelly style where supposedly <laughs> he just he just improvises the lyrics <laughs> into the into the mic in the studio yeah well this is i wouldn't uh Disgrace R. Kelly's <laughs> legacy by comparing <laughs> his stuff to this. <laughs> this is just unbelievable. I'm going crazy. Oh, keeping it up, pumping it up, pumping it up. Oh, yeah. hey, get- hey, real quick, it oh. sounded like he, uh, Changed that lyric a little bit from the first time. It was just pumping it up the first time, yeah. and then this time he was keeping it up and pumping it up. Yeah. Just wanted to let you know he's can, still going. Can you back it up a second or two? Because yeah. you you actually stopped it in the middle of uh, oh boy. of of, uh, of more good stuff, more more strangeness. Okay, here we go. Ain't gonna kill you. <laughs> That's a oh, <laughs> that's what every woman wants to hear. <laughs> what woman that's, would melt to hear that? Well, that's that's that seals the deal. Yeah, he's he's ninety percent there, yeah. and then you drop that, and yeah. they're like, oh well, you know what? That's yeah, why not? The, 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 the instant regret I'm already feeling. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's not going to kill me. Yeah, so why not? I've already humiliated Let's myself. Get this over with. You know, it's funny. Whatever lyric site I'm looking at with the incorrect lyrics, it says, it's going to kill you. (laughs) (laughs) I wish it was that. (laughs) It's going to kill you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That 
that's a, the best part about this is you guys are looking at two different lyric sites. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, this is making it even better. We're getting multiple interpretations. It's yeah, gonna kill you. That's the live version. It's gonna kill you. I mean, that what a, I mean, what a dark turn. Right? You know, it's gonna kill. <laughs> I, it's I don't even know what to say about that. Yeah, I think I like this song now. If that's the yeah. real lyric. If, if that was it, that might have it's through, that might it. have uh, been some salvation. But wow, <laughs> it's not. But I wish it no. was. No. What did they? What was that little frantic dibba 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 dibba? <laughs> what know. happened there? Is just is it, is it like Lexington Steel <laughs> speaking in tongues at that point? Let's <laughs> <laughs> go back in here. <laughs> I don't even what? know what the fuck that is. That's almost like... Uh, is that on either Gene, of your lyrics? No. It's not, no. That's like Gene Simmons from Spit. We, yeah, 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 exactly. It's like... It's being in, sounded. Yeah, yeah it, indecipherable, uh, enthusiastic uh, noises. Jesus. <laughs> but the cream in the coffee, the singing in the morning, standing by on the biscuit, honey, to my belly, with me. Did you say berries yeah, he that did. time? Yeah, and, and he said spread the butter on my yeah. spread that butter on my biscuit. Yeah. So Jesus first Christ. chorus, just, just put, put it, it on. on. Leave now, it. Now, Don't touch it. Now spread it because it didn't it didn't melt all over <laughs> yeah. it like I was hoping. Yeah. <laughs> get a berries. Uh, on bananas yeah. this time. Get some sort get some sort of trowel like device yeah. and spread it on there, yeah. please. Unbelievable. <laughs> She's grouting him at this point. <laughs> also, uh, she put cream in my coffee. It's kind of an... I don't really know what that even refers to. Who knows? I mean... I mean, that's a, that's an old... A bodily bird. fluids who know, deposited but, somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. But I've heard oh, like... She's talking Well, about. I mean, that's an old expression anyway. So maybe he's just using it in a, uh, you know... She's the cream in my coffee kind okay. of thing. Okay. Hopefully he's not talking. Hopefully that's not a <laughs> some sort of uh, play. Consider the source. Double on it absolutely. Is. I hope. I hope he. I hope he snapped out of it for a moment. Uh, you think no. he took the high road for one lyric? Yeah, that's what I'm no, hoping. No. It didn't happen. I'm hoping the entendres he uh, didn't. took a break. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Relatively speaking, and we're talking relative to a, and a typical Eddie Van Halen guitar solo, pretty unremarkable. Yeah, he's just pretty a, much just a lot of effects and cut loose to get it over. With, and, but but it's much. drowned out a little bit because yeah. of all the effects on it. Yeah, I so mean, it's pretty not memorable. Yeah, and I mean musically, there's 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 potential here. Um, but it just the, the the lyrical content just destroys it. Un, unbelievable. And I mean, yeah, musically we're getting wake me up chanting throughout. I mean, I mean we're getting what, a what is this? <laughs> musically. There's a there's that same liveliness that you know that we all love in Van Halen musically. Right, it, that's there. You're always gonna get that to some degree. Yeah, but uh, it's. I don't know. It's the same. It's the same reaction you get or should get when you listen to Van Halen three. It's like 
there's some good music going on here, but the disconnect between that and the vocals is ju- it just kills it. You can't sit through it. Uh, Andy, is it's terrible. Starting to get it's, Andy's starting to get a little angry. <laughs> I think even he's. His, his his intelligence is being insulted, as as should anyone's. Well, everything you guys said, I agree with about how the music and the lyrics don't make any sense together whatsoever. No, and it's such a poor effort. It really is with the lyrics and the presentation. But again, t- Sammy's technical ability—you hear it; he's great. Sure, but. And like Nick said, he put no effort into coming up with any kind of melody. It's not a toe tapper. You're not going to be yeah, humming that, this. You know, that's a good point. There, there really is no melody no, to the lyrics. There's nothing there. memorable about the song. No, there's, there's it, to to reference our our boy Greg Troy, and that's something he always harps on is about songs that have hooks. The song has zero hooks. There's nothing to it. No, and it's, it's on a best of collection i mean there's the song, no reason for this it's, to it, even exist in it, any capacity this song is it's like someone cast just a bear fishing line into the water zero hooks whatsoever <laughs> no no <laughs> weights no no bobber nobody's gonna go near it <laughs> that's, not, yeah. that's no funny. bobber <laughs> Yeah. Does does Sammy Hagar does he have any uh, the, fishing innuendo I'm song? Sure he I was probably gonna... does. It's, I, I guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> what, tackle she, box, I she, believe it's yeah, called. That's yeah. what he's gonna do. That's the name of he's the song. Tackle, tackle box. box. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna tackle multiple box Re- references to worms, <laughs> lures, <Yeah>. and bait. <laughs> Go down the list. Good. This all works. We're talking yeah. about being up early in the morning yeah. again. So mm-hmm. there's that yeah. familiarity yeah, for we, the we, people we, who love. That should be our next breakfast. attempt is to do a, a, a Hagar song, <laughs> Gone Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> See if we could actually write a worse lyrical oh, song. Than if anybody this. can, yeah, we could probably put our heads together and come up with that. Yeah. Get some motion in the ocean. He, that wouldn't be beneath him to say something like that. Yeah. Dingy would come into play. At some point. Pole, obviously. Yeah. I mean, just this is this is this 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 is the song writing process that went into the creation of peel, Up for Breakfast. Peel off the seaweed. <laughs> The shaft hair reference. Well, it's it's it, like like all great art. It's open to okay. interpretation. Okay. Massage my barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> barnacles. <laughs> right. You. T- I don't. Know, never mind. Yeah, I, don't mind. I, I. We yeah, could go, go on. on Unfortunately, we could go on. Yeah. So he, uh, let's see, he's, uh, I'll give him, I'll, I'm going to concede this much. There are at least slightly entertaining variations on the chorus lines. Right. Yeah. Um, spread hot butter on my biscuit. Um, mm. And I like that going to need a second helping. It, you know what, you know what he really needs in here is a, mm, bring it here, mama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would go. do it. Because we're getting into the uh, into some diminutive Not Andrew yet. territory. Sammy Hagar here. is no diminutive Andrew. But there, there might lyricist. there might That's be a direct sure. influence. I, I'm thinking. <laughs> you know, you, now that you mention it, the the opening salvo of, of uh, "Good Enough" is a big Thropper ripoff. He does the "Hello Baby" right at the beginning. Oh my! He might have been tapped into these guys that we just recently discovered, and he's definitely coming up short in terms of. <laughs> Shines a new light on it, though. Yeah, makes Bo- the big, he, he, lyrically he makes the big thropper look like Bob Dylan in comparison. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, 
does that have I think, one? I think, uh, I think Chris will enjoy this one. Got bacon on the table oh, first thing in the morning. Dear, Jesus, God. Bacon on the table. What could that mean? Bacon's a wiener, that's for sure. <laughs> and he's putting it on the and table. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of... You put just food on there. it down on the counter. Yeah, you put food on there. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> I you gotta hit that with the pledge a I few yeah, times. I, I ain't eating any food off that table anymore. <laughs> first thing in the first thing in the morning, dick too. Has been flopped out on yeah. it. First thing in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Bacon on the can, table. Can barely oh. see, and then you walk in the kitchen, and he's standing there with his bacon on the yeah. table. It's not gonna kill you, <laughs> <laughs> or it's gonna kill. Or it's you. gonna kill you. Yeah. The bake. Well, there's a good uh, double entendre. Bacon, you know, bacon's gonna kill you. <laughs> Clog up your arteries, mm-hmm. clog up your back door. Jesus. I love that delivery. Yeah. Squeeze some honey on my biscuit. Squeeze some honey on my biscuit. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna concede Good. that line also. See Typically, we praise people for being fully engaged in the lyrical delivery. This, this should this should result in nothing but humiliation. <laughs> and also the fact that he's updating the lyrics as the song goes along. That's something I feel like we've complimented in the past, but... Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's he's digging deeper with each it's, improvisation. It's more entertaining than if he repeated the first verse verbatim. Mm-hmm. This is true. Or first mm-hmm. chorus verbatim. But, he, but it's entertaining because he's sinking lower. Whip it. My bananas. Is, why is it a plural bananas? I don't know. Does he have banana titties? <laughs> What's going on? Who knows? Take his shirt off. He's got those elongated testicles. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe Sammy Hager has two wieners. Who knows? Could be. (laughs) Uh, I yeah, I don't know why it's bananas. Or is it like chopped bananas? And that's a different visual altogether. I don't know what it is, but it's something else. Chopped bananas. See, I'm just picturing two curved, full bananas out of the banana peel. Yeah, but maybe that's not it. Who knows? And who know? I don't it's, know. It's it like means. a banana split. No oh, God, Jeez. I've seen that on the internet. Yeah, before. so have I. <laughs> that is, yeah, that, it's that's, ghastly. That, that is just, just go away at that point. <laughs> this is you, you've lost, you've lost the plot when you're pulling that shit. Yeah, get a neck tattoo instead. Yeah, you start cutting your dick in half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've crossed a line there. You, well, I'm just wondering why it's plural. It just doesn't yeah. make sense to me. Maybe when we tag Sammy on our Twitter posts about this, he'll listen to the episode and be willing to talk. Yeah, to us <laughs> sure. About his, sure. Uh, I can see all uh, three of those things happening. Yeah, right. <laughs> Should be happy to give us yeah. a call. He'll fly us down to Cabo Wabo and just have a roundtable discussion <laughs> about up for breakfast. Have all three of us well, shot, probably. We'll have exactly. a follow-up episode uh, correcting uh, things <laughs> next week. We'll all end up at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Or, or we'll have a new sponsor. <laughs> yeah, right. Black coffee first thing in the say. morning. Okay, we we all know what that. Uh, We're getting. We know what, which road he's headed down there. I'm sure. Is this another Kid Rock lyric? Yeah, who knows? I thought he was. I thought he was giving us a, a slight description of the the uh, lady he's with. That's what, That's I, mean. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're get, I'm getting a Pam Greer kind of yeah, uh, visual exactly. here. What is that song called, Chris? Black chick, white guy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was getting at. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. I don't know anything about Sammy's love life. But. Sounds like there are multiple people in in this scenario. Yeah, that makes more sense. 
that bananas, explains the bananas. Multiple dudes. He's a, <laughs> white women, black women. Mm-hmm. He's at a he's at a breakfast buffet, a horseshoe uh, <laughs> casino breakfast buffet. Considering his fascination with Mexico, brown women will be in the <laughs> equation. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a maybe there'll be an overt reference. Well, maybe to that. maybe that's the cream in the coffee. Yeah, yeah chorizo line. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> huevos put rancheros. Some t- put some t- salsa on my huevos. Some Tabasco <laughs> on my chorizo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll be disappointed if we don't get that. Some huevos slide. <laughs> What was that? Oh, <laughs> somebody she went too far. Somebody crossed the line there. Yeah, I, another I, banana I, came I, into the picture. <laughs> he saw, he saw the, the bananas sh- touched. It's like, oh, oh, wait a minute! <laughs> he saw, now. He, he saw okay. a, a shadow in the doorway. It's, it's, whoa, whoa! It's bad enough. I got to see another dude naked, but when your banana touches <laughs> mine, we got to put a stop to this. <laughs> Okay, that's not that's not, nobody bargained for that. Maybe maybe that was uh, that was on purpose. It coincided with the disorienting phasing effect at the end. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I just looked it up. Uh, Bert and Ellie divorced Eddie Van Halen in 2007. I guarantee <laughs> you, his participation in this song factored into that. Uh, I mean, how can you how can you respect? the man in your life for being part and parcel of this crap (laughs) at at the age they were i mean again your your second grade kid comes comes to the table with this a talent show i mean yeah you take him aside after it's done and say don't ever do that again i mean i i get where you are in life and why you put that <laughs> brought that forth don't ever do yeah it again. but you're you're playing with fire in several different 50 ways 50 fucking 6 we wrote this that's that's all you need to know i mean Unreal. Do, you, do you think it's uh it's one of those uh clichés where you can't really relate anymore after, maybe after being someone you know in, in the limelight and for so long there's got to be is, some is explanation. It, is it possible it? that it's? Yeah, I think people will like this. I mean, well, again, I, I don't know. It, I'm not a, a. I'm not a real person anymore. It's another so illustration of absolutely zero people in the organization have the having the huevos to say no to this. <laughs> All right, well, guys, that was it for up for breakfast. It's time to vote. That's it for me, as far as I'm concerned. You're done. <laughs> It's time to vote Sweet Surrender or Kick in the Crotch. Chris, you vote first today. <laughs> uh, a steel-toed boot kick in the crotch, absolutely. It's a humiliating kick in the crotch! I mean, everybody knows this is the running joke in my life ever since this came out, and this is the second time I've heard this song. The first time I heard it was enough to etch it in the annals of my brain. It's the worst thing I've ever heard, and this just solidifies it. So, I mean, I, there's really nothing more to be said. Interested in getting your guys' takes on it. Your summary takes here in the voting round. Mm-hmm. Nick, you want to go next? Or? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Nick. <laughs> Take your footwear to my cherries. <laughs> Got it. It's a humiliating kick in the crotch. Um, yeah, I mean, like I was saying before, and I, I stand by this at least, it, it had that uh, bouncy, exciting kind of, uh, you know, typical Van Halen musical uh, ingredient that's, you know, obviously a vital a vital component to their career. 
So it had that. So I, I mean, it, it wasn't memorable, really. I'll say that again. But there was, I think, had the had there been a lyrical melody, I think it would have brought out something in the music that may have made it stand out. I mean, there's a groove there. There's a it's there's a groove, solid. yeah. But it's it you're. But it's it it's made unremarkable because. Oh. The other ingredient, the other key ingredient, is uh, is just not there. It's not. Yeah. It's not bringing out the other ingredients. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever heard a song that it was absolutely completely devoid of any melodic hooks. That that's an example right there. Yeah, they're unreal. And that and yeah, that's something that I. I tend to gravitate toward also. So I'm, you know, that it didn't excite me that it was just kind of yelling out lyrics. No, Um, it didn't, uh, it didn't make it bigger for you. (laughs) No, no. Shocker. Um, Made it much smaller than I ever thought possible. (laughs) Turned it into an innie, basically. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, I mean, we pretty much... I, I I don't know that we we pretty much uh, exhausted the uh, trashing of the lyrics, so yeah. I won't. Well, I want to hear that. Andy's final yeah. take on it. This is the one I'm most interested in because well. he's been listening to me reference this for the better part of uh, a decade and a half, and yeah. now he's finally been exposed to it. Yeah, um, kick in the crotch for sure. It's a humiliating kick in the crotch! <laughs> but I did thoroughly enjoy listening to it with the two of you and analyzing it. So there's that. That's, yeah. that's not enough to give it any kind of positive voting. But you're right. It's one of those songs where I don't. I guess it's just, you know, you have to throw a new song on a greatest hits, or at least you did at one point. Well, and, they've got a few of them on here. There's yeah. there's no reason to include this. So you're I saying mean, I, keep the other two. I drop this one. Do you have any recollection Anything. of the other two? No, no. I, I certainly don't. I'm curious. I'm but, I'm, yeah. I'm going to look them up and just see if they were if this was the battle plan with all three of the new songs or not. There's no way they it could be worse <laughs> than this. It's Maybe consistent possible. with it though. Who knows? It's not possible. What's the other one? About time or something. So, uh, I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's about time and learning to see. Maybe there's an optometry yeah. innuendo exactly. song. The, both of those sound like social yeah. uh, social ad- progression uh, commentary, like right now, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, like up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but anyway. Um, if you explained this song to me, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna like that." Because it's a bunch of stupid innuendo. Like I would just laugh and enjoy it, but it's so bad and poorly done uh, that it's embarrassing. Yeah. Is absolutely embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I'm, I'm, like I would, I would listening to this by myself. I would be embarrassed. I'm. Dis- I would be cringing in the car listening. And, to and this. I'm disappointed. You'd cut that, it off. You would. You yeah. tap out. Yeah. Halfway through. You wouldn't make it through. It's not like fits like a glove or something where right. I enjoy the stupidity of the innuendo in that song. I'm, right. I'm, the, whatever Gene's worst song of the '80s is, this is fifty clicks lower than that <laughs> easily. And, and he could. There's so much other stuff he could have put into this. He could have started naming breakfast breakfast places establishments <laughs> he could have made a bob evans reference <laughs> wow i mean he could have he could have talked about meeting a girl at the airport and then worked in like an international house of pancakes line that would have worked you know someone from another country it dug deep in the past and brought up sambos that would have been good <laughs> Some sort with of cr- the, tied in with a black coffee line toward the end. <laughs> Something about ro- rolling his cracker barrel out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was on the demo. Demo was way better. <laughs> Something yeah, about a grand sure. slam breakfast yeah. at Denny's. <laughs> That's a, a he, moon over my hammy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he absolutely should have had a grand slam. <laughs> 
yeah. and moon over my hammies in the song. There's Smothered no and covered, which is the lingo at Waffle House, I There's, believe. Put my, these, uh, these are all better than what's put in the Put my pigs song. under your blanket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. Not uh, instead of <laughs> instead of biscuit and one of the uh, choruses, he could have said home fries. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're just sitting here riffing. I if, know. if this is our main job, we could have knocked something out better in, there, in no time. There could flat. have been a mention of sawmill gravy. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just the possibilities saying. are endless. <laughs> That's that would be the last lyric. my my Dutch baby, yeah. <laughs> uh, unreal, as advertised, Andy. Yes, absolutely, as advertised, Ooh. as bad as you. It's like the <laughs> pain of a kidney I, stone, as advertised. I just can't Trust believe me. that this song mm-hmm. came up as a the second random selection. It's pretty incredible, and this is one people, that people are gonna alleged shenanigans because I went into it wanting to pull a bad one because people love the episodes where we destroy songs. We got lucky. First one wasn't going to be that. Second one, we hit the fucking jackpot. (laughs) All right, well, if you disagree with us, we're sorry. That's just the fucking way it is. Three kicks in the crotch. Oof. Uh, Ouch. And. No cup either. No next no, round. Absolutely no, no athletic support. Yeah. Nothing. So um, before we get to the yard of questions, Chris, what's going on over there? You had some kind of... Uh, oh, yeah. The uh, something... The, the series that I've kind of been doing where we had like the uh, similarity as to how Gene Simmons interchanges certain words for the word dick. Well, <laughs> this is... Not that, but it's something else I found interesting um, based on last week's song. Um, we didn't get it this week because it's the worst song of all time, but when it's a uh, uh, boner classic, what are we calling it these days? I don't know. Rock and roll boner Rock classic. Rock and roll boner classic. You get the outburst from Peter, or, uh, yeah, Pete, uh, Pete Weber, PDW professional bowler and whenever we hear that we kind of want to uh, imagine him participating and somehow in that uh, in the song that we just heard well it turns out he did participate in a version of the Eddie Money uh, song Eddie Money's version of the song that we did last week so let's, let's give it a listen Slow dance Hoping that I Get it right <laughs> Boy what a jarring uh, Juxtaposition there what, is that like- Eddie Money is positively Crooning and then you just get this You know Barking out of get it right <laughs> That's like when uh, someone holds the mic out To the crowd at a show <laughs> yeah, Pretty yeah. much yeah <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Anyway, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> One more time for, yeah. for good measure. The first slow dance Hoping that I get it right <laughs> Sense of urgency in that lyric. Oh god. Yeah. He yeah, maybe he was blowing it at that second. <laughs> it was in panic mode. <laughs> And I did want to point out, you guys were talking about the rock and roll boner classic. That's actually uh, also the the name of the uh, softball benefit uh, <laughs> game that we do every spring. So <laughs> we did one. <laughs> we uh, we did on, do one in we, in, in Ohio, Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, we got that's on the, right. The Dayton Flyers softball field. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there were what three people there? There Us. was one run scored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, not even. An Two ex- cheeks slapped. An extra base hit, as far as we know. Two honeydew melons <laughs> slapped. 
<laughs> All right. All right let's guys. move ahead. You know what time yep. it is. I sure Swing do. Away. Yes, Chief. <laughs> Baseball fever, <laughs> It's time for a Yardo Questions. Baseball's still going on. Who's hot this year? I haven't paid any attention. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not really paying attention either. No. I think the Dodgers are good again. Okay. Go Dodgers, I guess. Yeah. I don't care. Or cares. don't. Or yeah. don't. Do it. Do whatever you yeah. want. <laughs> Do or do not. Who cares? Honey, do your melons yeah. if you want to. Ah. All right. This week's yard of questions comes to us from Sean Metzger. Ah, familiar name. Yes. Ah, yes. Regular participant on the social media pages. Mm-hmm. If you're not, you should be. So Sean says, "Hey, boners." Question one. Wow, cutting right to yep. it. I like that. That's it. No spe- special uh, messages or anything. Just hey, like boners, that. comma. Get to it. One, period. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> to boner whom it may concern. <laughs> <laughs> For immediate boner release. <laughs> if you were to eliminate one song from an album to make that album perfect, what would it be? Ooh. For example... Let me take you home tonight from the Boston debut oh, album. I, I can't agree with that. The song sucks. Can't Ooh, agree there. My, my, my. And just doesn't gel with the rest of the album. Can't agree with that. And that, that's, yeah. Yeah, he's flat out wrong about that, but it's neither here nor there. I'm Ooh. just off the top of my head, I'm going to say. Uh, Give me revenge without every time I look at you, and you've got just a, a potent slab of kick-ass hard rock. Whew. Hmm. That's hmm. tough because How about best of both worlds without up for breakfast. <laughs> on it? That's another one. <laughs> that would get it closer. That's for sure. Um. Wow. See, to make it, I. I mean, I initially thought of a song that I just wish didn't exist but I, I don't think it's a perfect album without it so I can't I, I'm kind of struggling here yeah but what is it though well I'm I mean I <clears throat> I'll go to the uh, the last uh, STP album with Wylan the uh, eponymous uh, their first eponymous album right and uh, I've mentioned this song before, but I, I don't think it's a perfect album without it, but it, I think every other song is up to their standards, except for uh, there's a song called Hickory Dichotomy, which is the the black eye in their catalog as far as oh, I'm wait. concerned. So, what sucks about it? It's just, it's just a, a terrible... Uh, just the, the way that the... Uh, the, the the style of the vocal delivery is Not nothing that really enough. does it for me. And the, the, there's nothing remarkable about it musically either, in my opinion. Right. So that's, that's the closest one I could think of. I think it's a, I think it's a really, really good album without it. As far as a perfect one, I'm, I apologize. I'm nothing is coming to mind. That's a tough question. Yeah, that is. Question two. I'm from Winnipeg, Canada. Oh, there you go. So, home of Jericho, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And a lot of my favorite, spelled with a uh, O-U. Of course. Favorite bands don't come to town, so I have to travel to see them. What's the farthest away from home you've traveled for a concert? I drove to Boston 16 hours um, with my older brother and a couple of his buddies to go to the uh, Dropkick Murphy show at uh, Fenway Park. That's the farthest I've ever gone. That's pretty far. Andy's got one on the horizon off to L.A. to see uh, Bungle. Yeah. Right? Is that yeah. going to be your answer? That, that will be, up? yeah. I have, The only thing similar, not even that close, but it was when we went to Detroit to see Kiss, yeah. which is, what, five hours, five yeah. hours? Yeah. yeah. Well, for me, the obvious one is the Kiss cruise. I was in the middle of the Caribbean Sea to see uh, Kiss do their uh, creatures set on the... 
on the ship, so that that's the obvious answer for me. But um, I don't know about Chris growing up in Detroit. M- most big bands don't skip Detroit. They don't. So yeah. I'm gonna say like Chicago. We don't really have a shortage of bands coming through town no. either. So we we can't really relate to that question, Sean. But we feel for you. Yeah. You do what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I, I guess I would just assume that Winnipeg's a big enough city where. You know that that they bands are gonna be there or somewhere well, nearby. Apparently not. It's but, pretty remote up that. Yeah. It's at the mountain time zone of Canada. Question three: Who's worse, <laughs> ELO or Anvil? Love the show. Keep rocking, brothers. Does that just mean me and Nick keep rocking, or is it like yeah. figurative brothers? Yeah, probably. Okay, literal brothers. Literal brothers. And then Chris do whatever Jones he does. brothers, best siblings. <laughs> uh, so who's worse, ELO or Anvil? Anvil. I'd have to agree simply because ELO has achieved some sort of a modicum of success. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've gotten enjoyment out of at least one ELO song in my lifetime. I really can't say that for Anvil. And I've tried. I've, I, I mean, I haven't heard all of their stuff, but... I mean, I listened to Metal on Metal. You know, what Lars Ulrich said, it's a classic. Yeah, well, he was <laughs> I, I can't to ag- say that. I can't agree <laughs> with him. And, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just... You know, the, the tipping factor for me is that ELO has actually achieved some semblance of success. Yeah, Anvil is again they're 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 on the same level they always been, which is at the fucking bottom. <laughs> so, did Jeff Lynn ever play the guitar with a dildo? Well, he is a dildo. <laughs> so, uh, Took it to the next yeah, level. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I was going to make a Wilburys joke, but I couldn't think of anybody to anybody in that band to insult <laughs> who, like who, that. Who would be? No, the... I, I can't think. I, I wouldn't want to insult anybody in that band to that degree. So, Especially since what, two of them are Three, three of, them of them are, are dead. Three yeah. of them are gone now. Who's the third? Harrison, Petty, no, or Orbison. Orbison. Petty. I forgot Petty. That's it. All right, well, thank you, Sean. And if you want to submit your Yardo questions, go to potofthunder.com and send away not one, not two, but three questions. So easy. And if you want to submit a song, there's a form to do that, too. It's all there. We got it all on potofthunder.com, don't we, Nick? Tell them. You know, usually I like to research and make sure I'm telling the truth about stuff. But in this case, I'm just going to say I agree with you. <laughs> well, tell them about all the things we got on uh, there, Nick. Well, you know, there's uh, there's links. Links. I believe hyperlinks. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's some code in there. And if you uh, and somehow it all comes together where you can possibly buy merchandise. Mm-hmm. Um, you can. Uh, can you still get to Stats of Thunder if you want to know about the? I don't think so. The comprehensive Kiss voting uh, that we yeah, did. I don't, I don't think that still exists. Okay. Well, that was a thing of the past. Um, that was a third party operation. Okay, so that's now in the guys who've collectively put their moons over our hammies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know what else. What else is there? Even we don't have much else to offer. It's got all the things you need. It's got you can listen to every show if you don't want to listen. However, you're listening now. Uh, merchandise, and then the interactive portion of the show: submitting your questions, submitting your song, and I social media I, links. Do we have a link to the YouTube channel? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I hope so because you know I sometimes I'll cruise that. And I'm shocked at how few views some of those videos have. Yeah, our, like the maybe genius it's just, won't be maybe it's appreciated just, in this, our lifetime. Yeah, maybe it's just me who who thinks some of those are ho- no, hilarious and weird. But uh, yeah, go to the go to the YouTube channel. Yeah, a lot of a lot of weird original uh, productions there. There's actually a videos tab on the site that I need to update. But, uh, yeah, it's all there. 
all there for you. I mean, there's Paul Stanley bowling during his Folgers commercial. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's oh, the, uh, the, the see you at 10 to midnight is an absolute class. I, I mean... <laughs> And the, how is that? How does how does that not have thirty million views? It's just it boggles the mind. With bonus vendetta footage at oh, the end. Yeah. yeah, watch that one all the way to the end. Um, then the uh, video that should have been on the uh, Dial MTV. Uh, oh man! Show uh, back in uh, the mid late eighties. The I'm a legend tonight. Love that video. From which was. Uh, as though it were on the soundtrack uh, for the movie Short Circuit 2. Yeah, it just works. It works perfectly. Five minutes alone <laughs> video. It's <laughs> incredible. Another Why? one that you just you need to watch the whole thing. Just when you think it's over, another scenario comes at <laughs> Perfectly executed. It's all there. Lots of, lots of strange things. All right, well, that'll do it for today. We'll be back next week. This is the part of thunder. Get ready for the rocking show. This is the part of thunder. Whoa, with Chris on the and I and it Jones. on bananas is a new low. The lyrics could be stupid, but if there's something interesting musically going on with them, then, then it, you can appreciate it. Yeah, so like, you, you, like you said, I never never really uh, paid attention to it to, to that level. Like I said, I just heard it the one time, but absolutely devoid of any melody or or anything. Yeah. No, they didn't name another song that fits that description. I can't remember.